Alright guys, welcome to another Workbench Wednesday, and so I, I know you guys can see like a mess beyond catastrophe here, uh, that's what our next project basically is, yay! <laughs> but no, today we're going to be making a zombie Christmas tree, um, so I thought that would be fun for this week, um, my boyfriend actually gave me the idea, and you know, and I thought that would be fun, so... What you're going to need is this styrofoam little cone. You can buy um, a package of two at like Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby or whatever. Uh, you can get two for like, I think it's like $1.28 or something. I don't know. Um, and, then, and, you don't, and then what you're going to need is, this is optional because I had these and I thought this would be a fun little, you can see them falling, the little sparkly stuff. I also have regular white ones, so we'll, we'll be using that. Also, sparkling ones. So we'll see. I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. And you're going to need felt. I got the stick on felt, ow. And I got regular felt. Just regular felt. And scissors. I can't show it to you, but you're also going to need either hot glue or uh, regular glue or whatever you like. And lastly, you're going to need a topper for the tree. So I already pre made him because. I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't think you guys want to watch me do paper crafts again. So, that's him. I didn't recognize for the shirt. I would have made him a little more Christmassy, like with a Santa hat or something. That would be fun. So, we have him kind of like sitting here. Also taped him so he can go on top. Um, so, this is going to be fun and we should get right onto it. So, uh,. I don't even know where to start with this. I have so much stuff around here. It's just like, you probably see all of those root beer bottles. That's for a whole other project. Um, hint, hint, if you're watching, sarsaparilla. Sunset sarsaparilla over there. Uh, but no. <laughs> um, so, it's very big. So you're only going to see the bottom. I'll show it to you periodically while working. But um, I'm trying to keep it to where this stuff won't get in the way. Also, I'm thinking about making the zombies, instead of, like, basically making them, um, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, making, like, each individual one, I was thinking about making them, um, this is going to be very interesting, I'm going to have to do this in layers, um, just, like, silhouetted, silhouette, good lord, I don't know if I can say the word, silhouette. Silhouse. There we go. That that sounds like the right word. <laughs> right word. I don't know. I'll eventually learn to. Okay, and just so you guys know, this is super sticky. Ah, this is gonna hurt. I know it's gonna hurt. Ouch. Okay. And I'm hoping to get this back the first time so we don't like mess this up. So I'm hoping you guys are liking the angle and I'm, you know, having this app. Because, uh, I like this angle because you guys can actually kind of see me do, you know, work and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I may have to do this, like I said. And some layers. Ah! And I might have just completely failed with this. We'll see. We'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> because when I do it, it comes out like that. So it looks like an epic fail, right? Because it goes down. But I guess I can cut it and then just like add it again. Let me see if I can. I should have planned for this a little better. Oh well, that's fine. But that's why we have scissors. Yay for scissors. Oops. So I'm actually trying to record this like a little early so I can actually get it up on Wednesdays because. I know lately, like, my editing and all that, I try and edit it because, like, a lot of these projects become, like, two, three hours long, and I don't realize it until it's, like, at the four-hour mark, I'm like, oops. And so I'm like, I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me, like, do craft for four hours. You guys just want to kind of see what I'm doing, what items you need, how I did it, and get on with it so you can do it. And so, yeah. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the last few weeks. I know I have. 
I have like this little wall now of like cool little uh, stuffs, like Nuka Cola stuffs and all that good stuff. So that's exciting. And I think I'm gonna do it that way. I don't think I planned this very right, very well. I may have to get the other piece out. I think I'm going to. I'm going to have to. I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Because I need it to be like that. Okay. Now, this is totally fine. I was not even thinking about doing this. I haven't practiced making one of these. So this is my first time trying to make something like this. And like I said, my boyfriend gave me the idea a couple weeks ago for this because it's Christmas time. And this could be like a fun little gag gift to give to your friends who's like really into zombies or gaming. Ah. Okay. If you're going to cut this, cut this before. Ow. Ow. I just hurt it myself. For the umpteenth time this week, I don't lie, the other day, I had to catch some, uh, tendatils. Some, uh, falling stuffs from my, uh, in my house. And I accidentally, like, ripped my finger open. And it hurt and it bled. But, you know, for survival instinct, I knew exactly what to do. <laughs> It still wasn't fun though. It hurt. And so now like a chunk of skin thing on my forefinger. This is, this is fun. So I don't know if you guys are even seeing most of what I'm doing. I'm going to try and skip a lot of this in editing. So you guys can just kind of see what the steps are and whatnot. Now, I'm hoping this even relatively looks weird. And if anything, you know, just pretend that, you know, they're hills. They're, it's, it's grass. It's, it's layered grass. It's, you know, it's whatever. Have fun with this. It's, again, this is like my first time making something like this. <laughs> yeah, we have to give way. We have to give, like, a little leeway here. And then if you want to add a base, like, because I don't think I'm going to add a base. I might, but that's probably going to be last, and I might just get, like, a little block of wood or something, um, to do it. Seriously? I need better scissors. I have scissors. I need to get them. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. I sound whiny. Just because my finger hurts really bad. Okay. And this does not stick very well when it's on top of each other. So. Okay. And you can see it. I've got the grass. Don't look right there. That's where it got ugly. So we'll keep it this way. Like, we'll show it like that. Because that looks pretty. <laughs> so, um, now, the next part is going to be really interesting to do. Also have leftovers. So, I'm just going to stick it right the next part is doing basically the city line. So it's going to be just like this. It's going to be a pain in the rear end. And just, if you can see it, the city line. I'll, I'll try and back it up. You can see my laptop in the background. I was watching a friend's live stream. Uh, shout out to Psych Vexa for his live streams uh, that he's been doing for the past few weeks. Or, I think past week he's been doing live streams. So, give him a little shout out in my video. Um... So, now with this, what we're going to do is see, okay, I did this last year on a little Christmas video, or not a Christmas video, but like a Christmas kind of thing that I did. Um, let's see, I want to do it. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Because the grass doesn't, I need that piece over here, actually. I mean, you need to add that. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to try and keep this video short so you guys can kind of just be like, ooh, that looks cool. Let's make one. Hoping this just relatively looks like a city. So I'm going to do this. This looks like that in the back, but 
I have another piece um, that I'm going to try and fix. I'm wondering now if I should have put the green over the black. It's fine. I'll, I'll decorate it with sparklies. I'll fix it. This is where we jerry rig a bunch of stuff. And right here, if you can see, I'll show it up close, is that the little lines are lifting. Um, no, I put it on the green. Okay. Okay, that was over dramatic for you. Um, those are lifting. I have hot glue over behind me. You guys won't see that part of it, though, sadly, because the cord's not long enough. And I need to get a real workbench here. <laughs> so, oh, he's scary in the background. Look at him. He's just scary. That's on me. So you can try and keep it down. You can probably tape it. And um, you guys could totally use other mediums. I would love to see one of them be, like, painted. I might make one that's maybe next Christmas or something that's, like, painted and whatnot. So I think that would be really cool to see. So I'm going to try and show you guys this, and it's going to be interesting. I just want to put that out there because I have, I have an idea of what's going to happen with it because it's going to most likely pop out. That's what I did last year. I made... Uh, mason jar, uh, like Santas and elves for my boyfriend and his family, and, uh, they loved it, you know, uh, Santa, yeah, Santas and whatnot, okay, so, this may have to get cut into certain pieces as well, okay, because it's, but it's gonna stick up, like, if you want it to go completely in a circle, just around it, and just do the bottoms, then it's most likely going to, oops, it's going to stick up. And there's going to be a few, like, a little gap here and there. But don't worry about it because it's not that important. We'll fix it. It's fine. Uh, did I do it that way? Eh, it doesn't matter. Still got to cut another piece out of black, so I'm going to get the black felt real quick. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I don't think i got to do the black felt. If I can get it in bed. Now, I know this isn't the best video because of the project being so big, but I'm hoping you guys can slowly... Ah, oh, this paper. Okay, don't get this. Get this. This stuff's annoying. It's a sticky stuff. Ow. All I'm doing is ripping my hands off. My skin off of my hand. They're hard. Okay, so... If you guys can tell, I'm going to bring it up close to the video for you. Okay, uh, let's do it that way. Okay, see, if you can see, let me, okay, there, use a bright light. This is still flappy, and it will be, because, and you can also see it there, it's flappy, because you're going to have to leave it that way. I mean, you could probably squish it down now that we've done it, but, uh, I don't know if I'm going to. I guess I will, but then it's going to be a lot harder to do the sky. See, I'm going to do a blue sky, and then I'll stick it down. So, I'm going to do that so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about, and I'm not crazy. Promise. Um, well, I might be. Hold on. I don't know where the felt went. And that was my Fox controller. I was watching I Love Lucy. This is the best show ever. Uh, oh, never mind. It was right there. Okay. And so... I'm going to basically measure, should have probably cut the city line out and then done it on here, but oh well. So basically we're going to want to bring it down and around like that. Okay, so we're going to want about that much. Okay, let me show you guys. We're going to want about that much. Uh, let me get down to the lowest point. About that, well we're going to want it about here. I didn't make the sun, so I didn't get yellow felt. Oh well. So I'm gonna do about I'm gonna do about that much because we still have to glue the topper on and make it look pretty around the top. So I'll do about that much of blue, and then we can do decorations around the top so it's not like too gaudy. I don't want it to be too gaudy. I want it to look kind of like neat and cool and stuffs. I'm debating whether or not to go long ways or not. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit long ways. No, we're going to have to go long ways. Okay. Okay. Mm, I'll do about that much. And now that we have more felt, we can do 
another felt project from, like, kind of like how we made the zombie pirate guy. Which, by the way, still don't have a name for him. Cough, cough. I think I'm going to name him Grog. Or Grog. G-R-O-G. Grog. Grog. What's his name on that? Because it's like, you know, he's trying to go for brains and he's like a zombie and then he's a pirate. So he's like, Arg. It worked. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that looks good. Okay, now <laughs> this is going to be the fun part because now we have to tuck it behind. You can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to tuck it behind the, 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 the landscape. Okay. See, this was a bad idea. Okay, why didn't you guys tell me that it would have been easier to put the landscape on first? Landscape on behind the backdrop? Oh, she just thought about all this. Oh well, I'll fix it, it's fine. Totally, I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. I need the hot glue gun. Let's just get it on behind the thing so it's not sticking to it as much. No, 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 I said no, little pooper. Okay, hold on. I might have to do this one in sections. Ow! She's ripping the skin off. Okay, see? Doing this, it covers that. That's the only issue I'm having, so... I'm gonna have to cut up. Have to cut up just enough to be able to get rid of the. Uh, oops! Oh no! <laughs> just so it can go behind the um, silhouetted city line, I guess you could say. So, I did a little bit. Hopefully that works a little better, though. Uh, it should. Um, and I remember, though, this is, like, the first one that I've ever done of something like this. So, I think it's going to come out, hopefully, a little better than I think it will. I'm guessing here, so I don't know if it actually is or not. <laughs> and I'm not even done, because I have to then hot glue gun this. it again. Probably cut about much off. And again, you know, play around with it. Have fun with this because, you know, it's just one of those Christmas things that you want to have fun with. Because uh, it's Christmas time and... Yeah, who doesn't want to have fun doing Christmas zombie projects? I'm going to try and tuck this behind here so I don't have to, like, cut it again. Okay, tape that down. You can kind of see where I need to go with this. Bring that up. Tape that down. Bring that over. Just okay, I've got to cut. Got to cut some more. Cut, cut. Cut this film. We're gonna have lots of scraps, so that would be fun to do for our next little zombie project time. So hopefully we can do that, and that'll be fun. Okay, tuck that behind that one. Tuck, tighten that. Okay, well it doesn't look bad. It doesn't overwhelmingly look bad. This is before I hot glue it though, so don't crucify me here, guys. So I will t be right back. And I'm going to go edit, uh, hot glue this. Alright guys, here it is. And there it is. Oh, I wish I could get you. There we go. I'm trying to show you guys a close-up. I glued, I already hot glued the cloud on. Uh, spread above this design. I'm sorry I can't get the better views of it. I'll try and take a screenshot of it. And yes, I did mess up in a few places. And it looks really bad in a few places, 
But, you know, just, just put the little lines in the back. And then look, it looks like a pretty little skyline. I'm going to keep mine about right there so you can see it. And that's where most of the stuff's going to be, the activity of it. So, next we're going to do... I think I got hot glue and my boo-boo. It's fine, it's not bleeding. <laughs> it's not bleeding, I don't care. Um, okay, next we have the little fuzz balls. Okay. And because it's Christmas time, I'm going to make it snow a little bit here. I know. I know we did this, but that's fine. It doesn't mean it can't be snow. I live in Texas. You can have snow in the middle of March. So, there's that. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so I'm going to do like a pattern, maybe. I want to do, because I used these, I bought all of these last year for like the Santa and Elf thing. Entire package, which you can buy for like two bucks. I have all of these red ones and not enough green ones. All the red ones out first. So I'm probably going to do like a pattern of like red, silver, and the green maybe on the top. And then, you know, just use the other ones. They would come out. I, they also have like little baby ones. Like little baby ones. And, but I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna try and use like decent sized ones, but, ooh, that one's pretty. Um, I, I don't, not, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I have to go in the bottom of the dang bag to get some of these green ones. I'm trying to get green, but we'll see. Because I'm going to do a bunch of different ones, just so it kind of looks like, uh, since it's like a Christmas tree, I'm going to kind of do a, uh, you know, kind of like light bulbs, but they're not, obviously, but they're kind of like light bulbs. So I'm going to try and do that and see how that works. I don't know if that's going to work, so we'll see. <laughs> this may just be an epic fail, but I'm going to keep it anyways. I think it looks pretty cool so far. And like I said, you guys can do this with any kind of medium you want. Paint, oh god, I've got to pull the red ones back. Now, I'm going to put this back over there, and I'm going to, uh, I don't know, I kind of want him to be like that, but then I'll kind of, I think I want to hot glue him to it, so it's, he's kind of like staying there. Because like, he stays there by himself, which I think would be great, so I can use him for like, you know, put him next to like, let me show you, so you understand what I'm talking about, instead of me just trying to explain it. He stays, like, right there and ignore his shirt. So he stays, like, right there when I'm not moving him. It, whatever. But, fail. Um, but I don't know if I want to glue him because it's not, it's not, it's hard to kind of glue him. So I don't think I'm going to glue him. I think I'm just going to put him on last. So, so what we're going to do is, like, basically, from here up, we're going to make it sparklies and snow. Snowballs. Those snowballs. And that's what we'll do to make it pretty. And again, I have to go and hot glue it. You can use regular glue, but I like hot glue because it makes it kind of stay. So, I will be right back. <gasps> okay, guys, here it is. Look how pretty and sparkly it is. It's shiny. So, that's, <laughs> that's a gloss up. But that's what it kind of looks like where the little zombie's going to go. And I haven't added any glue. I just wanted to show you guys the top real quick before I added all that. Now, I don't know if you can see it all. Okay, first off, if you're under the age of 13 and you don't know how to use a glue gun, don't do it by yourself. <laughs> Get someone to help you. Uh, I just burn myself. I mean, I know how to use one, but I still burn myself. So, just be careful when you use them, guys. That really hurts. Ow. Okay, so I'm trying to get all of the extra glue here off so it won't get in the other way. Now, 
The only thing I haven't done is create the zombie outlines, which I don't think that's going to be, like, a problem for me, but it may take a bit of time, and uh, I don't want that. Uh, so I'm just going to do the quick little thing. I might have to tape them. Okay, I might have to stick them up there. There we go, I got them to stay. Oh, that looks so cool! I need to put one, like, right there. Where is that? Like, boop, right there. Maybe, I don't know. Probably won't. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going to add snow, and maybe, I don't know. This may be where I end it for the moment and get everything else together, so. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go and cut out some zombie um, outlines. So, hopefully that'll work. Alright, guys. I'm back, and I think I did actually quite good. I just used scissors, and it was a pain in the butt. But, okay, so please don't make fun of this, because I don't really care. But it was really fun to do, and they look kind of cute anyways, is that there's my one little zombie. I will add blood uh, with the leftover red felt we had from that one paper crap, or the pirate kid that we did. There's a crawling zombie. Figured, you know, make a little bit of that. And then here's our hero running away. Run, 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 run. And don't worry, they're not, they have a little bitty gun. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this on there. Um, I might hot glue them to them as well. I don't know. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to stick them on there. And then I'm going to add the little balls and it should be good. And then hopefully y'all like it. So, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> so let's add, let's add the little things real quick. I'm going to try and get some of this out of the way so you guys can see it. Because I know everything's in the way right now. You can't see a lot. I'm sorry for the mess, but I've been just doing a bunch of different little projects to see what would work and what wouldn't work. So we're going to add the little zombie guy first. I did sell outs because I think it would be easier just to, you know, just smack them on there. You know, you know just, just like that. See? I mean, it's not... It's, it's easy and it's fun and it's, you know, a little simpler. I'm going to cut, you know, and trim the legs up a bit on the zombie. Good enough. It looks really cool, actually. And then we're going to have uh, Mr. Crawler and behind him because, you know, he's crawling. It's going to take him a while to catch up. I figured I'd do only about two zombies and then the hero because if you do too many zombies, it's going to wrap around itself and then the hero has, like, no way of getting out of that situation. So, you know, use the zombies, guys. Use the zombies to cover up some of those uh-oh mistakes that you guys did. You know, because I know I made some, and I'm like, ooh, let's cover everything up. So, <laughs> I decided to do that. So, I'm going to put the other guy like, right here. Because I'm going to keep it, like, I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to keep these two. Oh, let me, let me get this, my fat hand out of the way. Because I have no lighting. I need to get better lighting. Because I'm going to try and keep him there. So that, you know, the ugly side doesn't come up. That's ugly. So, I'm going to try and keep it, like, right there. And they're, like, super close. But they can, like, turn and shoot him. And then, like, yeah. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, I do have to turn it, so you do have to look, look at the ugly side for the moment. <laughs> um, so I can, uh... Oops, there we go. So I can stick it on there. Okay, let's make sure... Oh, mm, There, I gotta put him in the running motion. Okay. I think that looks so cool. Ah! I'm so happy with this. Okay, let's make sure... So this is like a little pistol. I don't know what kind of pistol it would be. But it's a pistol. I promise. It looks horrible, but it's a pistol. So they can go pew 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 all they want. See, I messed up right there. But I'm like, oh, just, it's fine. Just, just there we go. See, all better. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's that so far. So, um... I'm going to glue a few of the snowballs on and a few of the little light bulbs, the 
ten light bulbs on and we should be done. So hopefully that'll be it and I will fin can finish up the video. I'll show you guys, finish up the video, show you what it looks like, and yeah. So I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back and here it is. And this is the final finale of the Christmas tree and it is very buoyant. Actually... Here it is, guys. There is the finished version of the, um, you can see it, the finished. It was fun to make. Super messy. Uh, if you're going to use hot glue, um, make sure that you guys have, like, ventilation because, like I said, it did become very strong smelling and stuff like that. So, uh, there it is, and I hope you guys liked it, and it was fun to make, and I hope you guys make one. There it is. There's a Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to take a snapshot. Well, I'm going to take a snapshot here in a minute, and I hope you liked it. Um, but that was our Workbench Wednesday for the week, and comment down in the quarantine section where you, what else you want me to do for the next few weeks or a few months or whatever. Um, I know... Update on, okay, so the reason I haven't been doing the Sundays is because, um, my chair broke. Yes, my chair completely broke it. So, I don't really have anything to sit in, so this is, it's, my chair bounces whenever I get on it. So, I have to be very careful sitting down, because I've already busted my butt 500 times. So, and there's that, and then I will, I promise, get the survival stuff out, I swear. Um, it's just that, yeah, with Christmas shopping and all of this stuff, I have not had any time to do anything. So, yeah, I will see you guys next Wednesday for Workbench Wednesday.